Hello, accountability buddies. This is Les with another episode of Less is More Healthy. And uh, coming to you from the car, which is pretty typical these days, I am running errands before work. Also pretty typical these days. Um, and I'm not going for a walk again today um, for a couple of reasons. Um, one reason is because I am running these errands before work. And... I just, there's something about like my brain that if I have an errand that is work related, that I can't organize myself to do something before that. It's like I have the mental capacity to do one thing before work, um, you know, before I have to be at work. Uh, and I can't, I don't have the mental capacity to be like, I can do this and I can do this. My brain doesn't work that way. So anyway, I'm, I'm running these errands. Um, we are doing, we have an event at work. Um, part of that event is um, we have a meal with the kids during the group and it's a lot of fun. And I chose a meal that is simple to put together, but requires me to pick up fresh ingredients on the daily or every other day. And that has actually been working really, really well. Um, I have been really enjoying this with the kids. It has been a lower key thing for me to actually do when um, when the kids are there. And uh, the kids are really enjoying it. So, yeah, it's just there's this like setup portion of it that I do in advance um, and then the actual process when the kids are there is very easy. So that has been really good. Um, and, um, yeah, so, but anyway, I have to do these errands. I have to run around before work and I don't have the mental capacity to do anything outside of that. Um, my brain allows me to complete one thing on my way to work on the regular. Um, and I don't know if it's that the walk or whatever isn't as regular, so I'm not able to add it or what, but I can't, I can't do both. So that's one of the reasons. Um, the second reason I'm not walking today and I haven't walked all week is because, um, I had I, my last episode I recorded on Monday uh, was about the skin breakdown, the skin issue that I'm having. And I really thought it would be healed um, by now. And it's not. It's almost completely healed up now. The skin is still really tender um, and will probably be tender for another few days. Um, so I'm just trying to be really careful with it. Um, the downside of this skin breakdown and, and infection is that, um, it's really sore. Um, I've never had this kind of skin breakdown before. Um, so I guess I just, I wasn't, I wasn't really prepared for how much it was going to hurt. Um, but it really does hurt quite a bit. And, um, that's, it's hard. Um, it's hard to be in pain. It's hard to do exercise when you're in physical pain. And, um, I'm trying to not beat myself up for, for having this thing, but I'm also feeling really embarrassed about, about the skin infection, um, in part because it's, it is a fungal infection. Um, and it's, and it's specifically due to the fact that, um, you know, I have my, the landscape of my body has, has changed, um, in the last year and a half, specifically in the last year, and it's continuing to change. And the skin is really different on my stomach in the compared to how it used to be. And that feels really 
difficult. Um, and I'm struggling with that, that kind of like my, the skin is damaged. I talked about this in the last episode. The skin is what my doctor calls damaged from, um, from, uh, stretch marks and it may spring back a little bit. Uh, but it's not, it's never going to be tight, um, against my muscles ever again. And, you know, I still have fat on my stomach. Um, obviously if you've seen my videos, you know that, um, but I have this skin fold, um, where the skin folds over on itself and rubs against itself. And when I sweat, it stays in there, um, which causes the fungal infection. And it's just hard to talk about. It feels really embarrassing. And, you know, on top of that, it smells bad. Well, it doesn't smell bad anymore because it's been in treatment, um, which is how one of the ways you can tell that the infection is getting better is because it doesn't smell anymore. Um, and that, that is, I think the, the hardest thing for me is like, I have this thing that smells bad as part of my body. And that's just awkward. It's an awkward conversation. It's an awkward thing to talk about. And also, on top of all of that, it feels embarrassing. It's awkward to talk about. It's hard to talk about. It hurts. Um, it's really painful. Um, I am using like, uh, now that the fungal infection is gone, there's we're, we're using an antibiotic cream to treat it. And that has, um, it, it, um, has a pain reliever in it. And that is making life livable right now because this is incredibly painful. And at this point, like the, the skin, the break in the skin is much smaller than it was. It's greatly reduced in size and I'm in much less pain than I was, but in the worst of it, um, it was, it was very difficult. It was very painful. Um, it really brought my mood down. Um, I've been on kind of a, like exercise and creative high, I guess. Like I've been feeling really good mentally and this has been, it's really brought me down. Um, and I think that's hard to talk about too, is the fact that like, my physical health impacts my mental health. And this is something I discovered when I had braces. Um, I was in excruciating pain when I had braces and, uh, it really impacted my mental health. So I am trying my hardest to like keep my brain in a good space. You know, I'm really glad I'm journaling again because that has been important. Um, I considered documenting the uh, break in the skin in my journal in terms of like photographs, but um, it's, it's a hard thing to photograph and not um, make it inappropriate for any sort of like online platform. Cause like my journals will probably end up, I'll probably end up doing flip throughs of them. And if I took photographs of some of this stuff, um, it'd be really difficult. Like I would have to carefully censor, um, anything that I did. Um, and also I don't know that I really want to document it. It feels weird to document this thing that's difficult and painful. Um, anyway, that's where I'm at. Um, I'm also like, getting myself to not record every day and focus more on quality content instead of just pushing out a video all the time. So yeah, that's where I'm at. Um, hopefully this weekend, um, everything will be healed up. I'm hoping to go for a bike ride because when I wear cycling gear, it acts like Spanx and holds that skin fold open and tight to my body. Um, I might actually look at buying some bike shorts without the padding and some leggings uh, that I can wear underneath my regular clothes for hiking because I really want to continue hiking all winter and walking all winter, but I'm going to have to be really careful with that skin fold because it will get infected again. This is one of those problems that you get 
on the regular with skin folds and it you know i know that the doctor's solution is is what it will be eventually will be to have surgery to remove some of the excess skin and i don't believe that will be um covered by insurance so i need to figure out some non invasive solutions to this problem so anyway with that uh i thank you for being here i appreciate you for watching my videos and uh i hope this was helpful for you to um hear um so anyway thanks and i'll see you next time